There is no doubt how Rob Browning feels about his job. I love it. I have the best job in the world. But it's not the job he thought he would have. After graduating from BYU, he landed in the nation's capital with hopes of becoming a U.S. ambassador. While there, a close friend gave him some friendly advice. Make sure you do what you're meant to do. Make sure you don't miss your calling in life in terms of your occupation. A church leader asked him to coach the youth basketball team. Browning agreed and fell in love. I thought I want to coach volleyball. A simple phone call to his former coach back in Provo is all it took. I told him, Rob, come on, come to BYU, but we have absolutely no money to give you. I said, hey, I got a job. It doesn't pay anything. Let's go. It was a giant leap of faith for Browning and his young family, but it was a leap that paid off. He was wonderful. He was just the best guy you could hope for. Browning turned that volunteer assistant coaching job into a position with the USA national team. Now he was traveling the world, not as an ambassador, but as a volleyball coach. I have to just pinch myself and say, can you believe that you're here? Less than one decade after making that phone call to McGowan, a small private school in California came calling his name. He's got a team, little tiny 5,000 students, 4,000 students, St. Mary's College, doing wonderful things. He's a great coach. He's won national championships and gold medals. Through it all, he's never forgotten where it all started, right here at the Smithfield House. I love BYU, so to be able to go up against them is an honor. From BYU's campus, Dave Neely, Kooktube.